All right, welcome back everybody. Anybody that's new here, thanks for joining me today. It's a little different. Uh, well, it's gonna be simple. So, if you know what that's for, we're gonna do a little pickling. Uh, as the title and description says, this is pickled white bass. Uh, I'm gonna explain to you a bunch of this stuff here and just just follow along as close as possible because basically this is, uh, this is an old recipe that's been online forever and I've just been using it for years now and it works really good. So if you like catching fish or white bass and you wanna try them pickled and you like pickled fish, your better bet is to go buy some pickled fish and try it. Um, try some in like wine sauce and then try some in, uh, I forgot the other thing. The stuff that this ends up pickled in is in like, uh, it's in a wine sauce, but it's like a really sweet one. Uh, as you guys will see in the future here, there's a lot of sugar in this one. So <laughs> it makes the fish taste really good. But um, so one of the things you guys need to start with here is a jar to put your fish in. So that's gonna be for when you chop them up. Big old bottle of distilled white vinegar. Some canning salt, or canning pickling salt. And then obviously, I, you guys seen it, but some white bass. So those of you guys that uh, know, I haven't been out fishing for white bass yet. These are actually from last white bass season, like in, in May, May, June. Um, the thing is, is you need to freeze your fish, which these have been frozen for a year <laughs> and uh, they're fine. But uh, you, you really want to freeze to get rid of any parasites for at least seven to 10 days. Um, cut your stuff up, put them in the freezer, let them, let them freeze, just forget about them for seven to 10 days. Hopefully the audio was good there. My mic was kind of unplugged and I didn't realize it, but needless to say, I'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible. Um, the girlfriend is actually the one that helps me the most with this. But like I said, um, to start off, the three things you need are we're going to need the jar. So what this jar is going to be for is brining your fish. Um, th that's basically what you're going to do with the vinegar and the salt is you will put them in the jar and it'll brine the fish. Um, and then the other thing is, is we got to cut up the fish into tiny little bite-sized pieces. I'll show you how big I do them, and then that way you guys get an idea of like what you can do with yours. This is probably the most basic, easy way of doing this. Um, and the whole process takes like, it's like three weeks, so it's kind of a, you gotta have patience. But uh, when it's done, it's done, and you have fish in your fridge to snack on anytime you want. They're really good with uh, Ritz crackers and uh, what else? Ritz crack, basically with Ritz crack, pr crackers is the best one that I've found, but I'm gonna get started cutting these up and then we'll go from there. Okay, so knife, bowl to throw your fish in. Um, so these are frozen and they were put in a bin like this to thaw them out because I like to freeze them flat so that like they freeze all of them. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to take them from here. Uh, I have a whole video on how to clean these. I'll put it at the end of this one. But So this is a, basically a white bass steak. So that's just the back strip off of it. But I also keep the bottom part. So when you clean white bass, you basically end up with something like that. So this bottom part. And most people would like throw all that away and just keep this part. But that's why pickling them is good. So like you can pickle this whole thing or cut it in half. But... I'll just show you real quick. So like the smaller one, I'm just going to cut that in half. So the idea is bite-sized pieces that can fit on a cracker. So those, and then I like to cut them at angles, but you'll see. And you, the thing is, is you don't want them too, too thick, too wide. A little little bite-sized pieces. Hopefully you guys can see that good. But yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces out of one steak. And then I got about 40 or 50 of those to go through. So we're gonna do that real quick and uh, we'll go, go from there. Okay, so like I said, 
cut them all up into bite-sized pieces. Um, like I said, I try to I try to keep them in this like little square form so that when they're uh, all done, said and done or whatever, that fits on a cracker really nicely. Uh, plus they're bite-sized, so they fit into smaller jars better. I'll get into that later on in this video. Okay, so like I said, I, sh I showed you guys the chunks. Um, if you guys want a little bit better reference, it doesn't get blown out by the light, but yeah, you don't want them very thick. Uh, the thing is, is like some of the back straps will be a little bit thicker, but that's when you make them a little shorter, but little cubes is what you're looking for. Um, the next thing you're going to do is do the layering of them in your jar. So you have a jar, something that you can, you need to be able to shake this up and, uh, basically fit all of them in the one jar or whatever uh you could probably do it in smaller jars but uh you have to have everything measured out um how much was this hootie so you need one and a third cup of salt of the, of the canning pickling salt um i already got that prepared i didn't tell you guys earlier i'm sorry i missed that part but yeah you, you want a a big measuring cup so you can have that ready to go um, so now we're going to take this and I'm going to have Hootie. So you guys are going to want to have a friend or somebody help you with this. You could do it yourself. Um, it's just a lot easier this way. So when we get this set up, I'm going to basically show you how I go, uh, in my layers and then I'll explain the rest of it to you afterwards. Okay. So now's the part you do fish and salt. Uh, I'm going to have Jen help me out here. So what I like to do is try to get a decent layer. I like this pickle jar for this reason, is getting a decent layer across the bottom first. Kind of like a foundation here. Okay. And then she's just gonna pour it in very carefully. And then kinda wanna space it out, but uh, like I said, you wanna try to mix it so that your layers are evenly spaced through the whole thing so if you need to put more fish down first and then add your salt Okay, so hopefully you guys can still see that. So fish, salt, fish, salt, fish, salt, and then the last thing is the salt. Okay, so you do this, and it's supposed to be for, I think the actual recipe, the, the pickling stuff that comes next, which I'm gonna do um, at a different time because this has to sit for, what was it, seven to 10 days? Seven to 10 days before you can actually do the, the wine stuff and the actual pickling stuff starts, so. Uh, I'll have to restart it with that, but right now you put the distilled vinegar on it. How high? Two to three inches above. So you want to do two to three inches above uh, the amount of fish that you have. So obviously you got to fill up the gaps all the way to here, and then you want to do two to three inches over the top of that. That's why I like using this jar. Okay, so that's what you end up with right there. And then uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna clean up all the mess that you made like we did. <laughs> and then you're gonna put the lid on it and then uh, this will be shaken up and then placed in a fridge uh, for that seven to 10 days, like I said. And then uh, every day you wanna go back and turn it upside down and shake it. Um, I'll kind of explain it a little bit better once I put it in the fridge and we'll go from there. Okay. So, I cleaned it all off. Everything's layered up. Uh, it's the two to three or two to three inches over the top. And then what you're gonna do here is you're gonna actually roll this, which I still find kind of goofy that you have to layer it, but I think it just helps get the salt mixed through it better. 
Um, you can do it this way where you get it to roll. Um, but the biggest thing, so like I can already see, we're gonna need a little bit more added. So come here. Um, you can just barely see through it right here, but we need to add a little bit more because after I shook it up, you don't want any of that sticking out of your liquid. That's the biggest thing is you don't want any of it sticking out of the liquid. So we're gonna add probably another inch, inch and a half to this. Okay, so now that's all shook up, put it in the fridge. So I always put it like right up front like this so I don't forget. Um, but what you're gonna do is for the next seven to 10 days, and I've noticed with uh, white bass and crappie, I think I did it with, uh, if you go a little longer, so like 10 to 12 days, it's easy to do like one week, so you can do seven days pretty easily. So I, I, I would say that's probably brine long enough. Um, but if you go just a little longer, it doesn't hurt it. So like two or three days, it seems like it stiffens them up, makes them nice and firm. Uh, and that makes them taste better on crackers and stuff like that. So uh, remember, every day you're going to take it, you're going to shake it up like that. You're going to make sure the fish are laying flat. You're going to stick it back in the fridge. And you're going to let it sit overnight. Uh, do that every day all the way up for the last day and then uh when we get to that part i'll just go from there so this is the first part of the video and the first part of the process the next part um what it, it's going to be making the actual pickling juice uh it's going to involve boiling some stuff and i will go over that whole list then okay what was it seven to ten days yeah so it's been seven to ten days uh i've been shaking this every morning now we're going to go through what you need for ingredients for the actual pickling mixture. Uh, Hootie, come over here. Uh, so what is that, seven cups of sugar? Well, so this is four, so that we're going to do Oh, that. right. But you need seven cups of sugar. Yep. Okay, so, and this is going to get boiled, so those of you guys that are wondering, this is a very sweet pickled fish, so it's not like whiny or anything like that. It's literally like, these are like candy. Um, but yeah, you need a ton of sugar. Um, for this one so seven cups of sugar total uh, and then how much wine was it a third cup of wine one third cup of wine and uh, eight how much cups of vinegar eight cups of vinegar and then what was the pickling what is that it's pickling spice third cup of pickling spice so one third cup of pickling spice that's the last of our sugar Apparently we did this at the right time. Um, I will actually post all of the ingredients instructions uh, down below in order so that you guys can just basically go down in the description and do this yourselves. But So we gotta do this, we gotta boil all this. Um, how long do you boil it for? You bring it to a boil and then simmer for five minutes. And then, then cool it? Right? Yep, and then you're going to refrigerate it until it's completely cold. Yeah, so once this is boiled and you simmer it, uh, like she said, uh, then you're going to make sure that it's completely chilled. So I, I have a, fr a fridge downstairs. I'm going to stick this in there until it's cold. And then actually we're going to finish this tomorrow because it's already 8.30. So it's going to take a while to get this thing to boil and then cool down. Um, this has to be cooled and then... You're gonna rinse these guys off. So you're gonna pour them in like a bowl or something like that. I pour them in a like a colander or a strainer, and then rinse them completely off, make them completely clean, throw them in a bowl, and a what do you need? Just it's just ice, right? Mm -hmm. So then you need to chill them in a bowl of ice for one hour before you go to the next step, and then we'll finish that tomorrow. So stay tuned. Okay, so. This is actually the next day. Uh, I had to split this up because one, um, the the liquid that you pickle everything in or, or that you store everything in, the finalized stuff, had to be cooled. So like when you boil that, obviously that's gonna be very warm for a long period of time. It stays warm for like two hours if you just leave it on the stove. Um, what I did is I stuck it in the fridge downstairs and then, um, so the stuff was in the jar here. Like I was saying before, rinse it off. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it in a bowl like this. And I'm actually gonna put, so they tell you to chill it for an hour. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it in that bowl and then I'm gonna put some ice on top of it for my uh, 
freezer, and then I'm going to stick it in the fridge downstairs next to the uh, the liquid, uh, and then we'll catch up from there. So the the process is uh, boil the stuff, cool that, and then chill this. So if you're doing this all in like one day, um, it's best to start it earlier in the day. I started way too late, um, and actually it was like, yeah, I started way too late. Either way, so like I said, I'm going to throw the fish in here, throw some ice on top of it, chill it for an hour, um, and then when that's done, I'll come back to you. It's real simple after that. We're going to put it in some jars. Um, I'm going to show you the different options that you can go, but the amount of liquid that this makes, if I remember right, only makes like a gallon or something like that. Um, we'll find out how many little jars it gets in and then the onions and stuff like that. Uh, you can do a couple of different options. I'll go over those when I'm uh, layering this stuff. But yeah, next thing you'll see is put in the jars. Okay, so it's later. Um, so like I was saying, you got to chill, chill the fish for an hour. I'm going to separate the fish out from this. Uh, basically, they're just covered in ice. And then they were set in the fridge. And then, uh, and then this was sitting in the fridge, chilled. But uh, the other thing you need to do... I forgot the amount needed, but you basically need to cut up enough onions to fill the jars that you're going to be using. And then, what? How how big are these jars? Pint size. So I'm gonna, I I did quart the last time, but I'm going to do pint size this time. Um, it's a little hard to eat that many pickled fish, but pint size I know are about the right size for this stuff. Uh, I'll go through that in like a week at a time. So I'm going to do a bunch of those, but kind of cut up your onions based on that. I like uh, two to three inch stringy onions. If you don't like onions, it's probably not for you. But uh, yeah, the, the mix that's in, in the pot and then the onions go in there. Um, and then I'll show you in a second. I'll have Jen do it. Uh, going to layer it. What is it? Fish, then onions, right? Yeah, you go fish, then onions, fish, then onions, until you fill up your jars. Um, and then you can just cut up the yeah, onions based like accordingly. And I've actually heard of people doing uh, other things like, um, well, because it's basically a pickling thing. So you can put onions in there. You can put peppers, uh, like sweet peppers. And uh, I've actually heard of people using like hot peppers of different kinds. That's up to you guys. I like this stuff, the sweet like it's more sugary and sweet than in most things so it's kind of like candy so i'm gonna finish cutting these up and then like i said i'll show you guys the layers and then that's pretty much it you fill it up with uh the juice up to the top put them in a fridge and then is it three weeks or four weeks Until start to get oh well the, okay so what i was always told was like three to four weeks um is your best like wait time uh but the, the rule of thumb is your fish will sink or they'll be on the bottom when they start floating up to the top. So that's what you're looking for while it's sitting in the fridge. Um, I'll show you, like I said, the, the layering and then that's basically it. And then filling it with the stuff. Okay. Goofball over here is going to do the, the demonstration. We're just going to do one of these real quick. It's, it's very simple, like I said. So this is chilled. Uh, that had ice in it. It's still got some ice in the bottom of it, but you drain that drain that off um this is just a thing for canning that we have you can pick those up or you don't need it or whatever but so what was it it's some onions and then fish and then just layering that so show show everybody that so like i like the pickled onions so like i like a nice full layer and then fish uh we did really big jars last time so like that's enough probably um the big thing here is, like I was saying, I don't know how much this goes into that because <laughs> of the, the mixture. Like I said, I'll link that in the description below so you guys can get the whole recipe. But it's pretty simple. You know, onions, fish, onions, fish. A um, little less onions, more fish. <laughs> you probably do another. Um, and then, like I was saying, so once this is put in there, um, the fish will like kind of sink down to the bottom or mainly be sitting on the bottom and there won't be really a gap here um so just fill it up but uh so once there is it's full you're going to stick this in a fridge like i said for at least two weeks um and the big thing is is you're waiting for your fish to actually like come like float up so like there'll be a little there'll be a little tiny gap on the bottom 
Okay, so like I said, I'm going to post all of the instructions and uh, ingredients stuff that you need down below in the description. Um, one thing I do want to say is uh, the for what we did make for the juice, the pickling stuff, um, I like I said, I believe it's for two to three pounds of fish. I can't remember off the top of my head's head. <laughs> um, but the thing is, is what we made... Uh, or what I had for fish was enough to fill um, six jars, but I'm gonna estimate um, The amount of liquid that you have it, it also depends on how much onions and stuff I like the pickled onions and stuff like that. They taste great. Um, they're basically like candied onions after a little while, so they're Really good um, But there is six pint jars. I think we came up with it could probably do about nine 10 maybe 11 of them uh like i said it just depends on how much fish you have um i'm gonna say this recipe probably goes for like two to three pounds of fish i don't remember exactly how many fish that was but this is for white bass so you guys can obviously like white bass has no limit where i live in wisconsin so you could literally keep as many as you need to and freeze them in small bags and you could just thaw out as many as you need to to use the rest of that um, this works for basically any fish too. This isn't just a white bass thing. You could do this with pickled pike. You could do this with pickled crappie. Uh, so far I think I've done pike, crappie, and white bass. And they're all amazing. So give it a try. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you guys go make some stuff yourself. Steaks. Stay tuned. Be excited because next thing you're probably going to see is me chasing some white bass.